In national news, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudaybia Palace. The cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's noble message marking the World Press Freedom Day, emphasizing the crucial role of the media in highlighting environmental issues and increasing public awareness of its consequences in line with Bahrain's progress in this domain. The cabinet also marked Bahraini Press Day commending the efforts of Bahraini media and journalism professionals in furthering Bahrain's wide-ranging development goals. Upon His Majesty's royal order to adjourn the second session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils, the Cabinet noted the accomplishments resulting from the collaboration between the executive and legislative authorities and their efforts in furthering Bahrain's comprehensive development. They affirm the depth of the strategic Bahraini-UK partnership, which has flourished over more than two centuries under the commitment of His Majesty. In this regard, the Cabinet praised the outcomes of His Royal Highness' visit to the UK, in which he met His Majesty King Charles III of the UK, of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, head of the Commonwealth, and attended the Royal Windsor Horse Show's endurance race on behalf of His Majesty the King. The Cabinet thanked His Majesty King Charles III for his hospitality and commended the organizers of the Royal Windsor Horse Show for their efforts in hosting this event. They congratulated Bahrain's Royal Endurance Team and the Bahrain Show Jumping Team for their performances at the Royal Windsor Horse Show and their passion for achievements, which exemplifies the professional level reached by Bahrain in the equestrian sector. On the occasion of the International Nurses' Day, the Cabinet thanked Bahraini nurses across the healthcare sector for their dedication to providing high-quality health and medical treatment services in accordance with best practices and quality standards. The Cabinet then extended its condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and to the Crown Prince, Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, following the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Badr bin Abdel Mohsen bin Abdel Aziz Al Saud. The cabinet also conveyed its sympathy to the Saudi royal family and the people of Saudi Arabia. The cabinet extended its condolences to the UAE president, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, following the passing of Abu Dhabi ruler's representative in Al Ain, His Highness Sheikh Tahnoon bin Mohammed Al Nahyan. They also conveyed their sympathy to the Al Nahyan family, the people of the UAE too. The Cabinet then discussed and approved the following memoranda. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding updates on Bahrain's performance in key indicators measuring competitiveness. Another submitted by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning on regulatory procedures for housing services. And a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to three proposals and three laws submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs which tracks the performance of government agencies in the Sigilat, Tawasul and Banayat online platforms from January to April 2024 in comparison to the corresponding period in 2023. The Cabinet also took note of the following ministerial reports. Key topics discussed by Bahrain's delegation at the World Economic Forum in Saudi Arabia and the outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the 50th Arab Labour Conference, the Bahrain C3 Davos of Healthcare and Business Summit, the official visit of the Minister of Health uh, to the UK and Bahrain's participation in ministerial meetings to enhance cooperation between GCC countries with the commercial and industrial fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Speaker of the Council of Representatives Ahmed bin Salman Al Musallam, the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali bin Salah Al Salah and members of the Shura and Representatives Councils at Gudaybia Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of furthering development efforts to achieve the goals of Bahrain's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness affirmed Team Bahrain's dedicated efforts 
efforts to serve as the foundation on which the kingdom's successes and goals are achieved, and that with their determination, the kingdom continues to reinforce its leading position in all levels. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the members of the Legislative Authority during the second session of the sixth legislative term, highlighting the achievements that have served citizens' interests and were the result of constructive cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. He emphasized that Bahrain's primary objective is to serve its citizens and fulfill their aspirations, which entails full utilization of all capacities and efforts. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing and enhancing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to benefit all. And he noted the achievements of all members of Team Bahrain from the executive authority, the legislative authority, the private sector and the civil society in their respective capacities. He commended their ongoing commitment to converting challenges into successes, thereby inspiring a promising present and future for all. His Royal Highness highlighted his commitment to strengthening the co cohesiveness of Bahrain's diverse society as it is a reflection of the strength and foundation of Bahrain to continue building on, working toward its wide-ranging development goals. And for their part, al Musallam and Saleh and the chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nurse, extended their appreciation to His Royal Highness for his ongoing support of joint cooperation to achieve progress for Bahrain and its citizens. They expressed their commitment to work towards achieving the kingdom's wide-ranging development goals. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and senior officials also attended the meeting. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, accompanied by a number of ministers and the capital governor, inspected the second phase of the Avenues Bahrain Expansion Project. The Deputy Premier was received by the member of the Board of Directors of Al Suruh Management Company and CEO of Mabani Company, Walid. Al Sharayan, who briefed him on this phase of the project, its expected facilities, and the progress rates of its completion, which reached 75%. Sheikh Rashid or Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah affirmed that the rapid growth of investment through the major projects implemented by the private sector is a practical embodiment of benefiting from the attractive competitive environment in Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister. He said that Bahrain is known as a preferred destination in the region due to its strategic location and leadership as a regional center for trade, tourism and business. He said that the expansion of Avenues Bahrain will enhance trade and tourism in Bahrain and create major job opportunities. Sheikh Khaled highlighted that the Avenues is a successful and optimal investment of municipal resources. He thanked the relevant authorities for their cooperation in completing this project on schedule. And for his part, the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wal Mubarak, affirmed that optimal investment in municipal property provides an important addition to the services and commercial activity in Bahrain. Al Sharihan said that the construction of the second phase of the project is evidence of the strength of the Bahraini economy.
The Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council, President of the Court of Cassation, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, received the Saudi Attorney General, Sheikh Saud bin Abdullah Al Mujab, currently on a visit to Bahrain. Sheikh Khaled bin Ali welcomed the Saudi Attorney General and his delegation, hailing the deep rooted historical relations between both countries and the development of the cooperation in various fields. The two sides reviewed bolstering cooperation in the judicial field to combat transnational organized crime and increase the programs for exchanging judicial experiences on new topics. The Saudi Attorney General learned about the latest judicial developments in Bahrain and the main development plans that are based on initiatives to achieve justice. The Attorney General Dr. Ali al buhainin received the Saudi Attorney General Sheikh Saud bin Abdullah al mujab and his delegation upon his visit to Bahrain to discuss ways to strengthen the mechanisms of international judicial cooperation between both sides to combat transnational organized crimes in addition to organizing joint training programs in the field of implementing judicial assistance. During the visit, the national strategy of the public prosecution was reviewed regarding the development of the criminal litigation system in terms of institutional and judicial developments and ways to initiate digital transformation in judicial work from a technical and technological standpoint. <coughs> The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Al Zayani, held a meeting with the Algerian Minister of Foreign Affairs and the National Community Abroad, Ahmed Attaf. The ministers discussed their country's brotherly relations and ways to develop cooperation to serve joint interests. They discussed regional developments and the war on Gaza, in addition to the efforts aimed at immediate ceasefire, protecting civilians and delivering humanitarian aid to Gazans. Minister Attaf welcomed Minister Zayani's visit, which comes within the framework of joint consultation and coordination in preparation for the next Arab summit. Zayani expressed Bahrain's appreciation for Algeria's diplomatic efforts through its current membership in the UN Security Council to support the Palestinian people and defend their legitimate rights, the international recognition of the Palestinian state and its acceptance of a full member of the UN, as well as its efforts to stop the war on Gaza and facilitate the delivery of humanitarian aid to civilians. The two sides discussed the ongoing preparations for the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain, the summit's work program and the topics and issues scheduled to be included on the Arab leaders' meeting agenda. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority participated in the four-day Arabian Travel Market 2024, which took place at the Dubai World Trade Center. BTA's participation was part of the Bahraini Pavillon alongside 28 leading exhibitors from various sectors of the tourism industry. The event featured thousands of exhibitors representing 155 countries. During the event, BTEA showcased a selection of Bahrain's most prominent tourist attractions, emphasizing the unique blend of cultural heritage and modernity that Bahrain offers. The CEO of BTEA, Sarah Boheji, expressed her enthusiasm for participating in this year's Arabian travel market, highlighting its significance in promoting Bahrain as a premier tourism destination on the global level and emphasizing the opportunity to engage directly with key markets outlined in Bahrain tourism strategy for the year 22 to 26. The Allied Health Directorate at Bahrain Polytechnic organized the first Infection Prevention and Control Forum in conjunction with World Hand Hygiene Day under the theme Vote for Leadership Investing in Infection Prevention Workers to Save Lives. That's in the presence of around 140 healthcare providers and professionals, health sector representatives, researchers, academics. The forum aims to highlight the importance of enhancing the knowledge of healthcare workers and building their capacity through innovative and impactful training and education in the field of infection prevention and control. <laughs> 
The CEO of Bahrain Polytechnic, Professor Jaran O. Kathleen, thanked the Speaker of the Allied Health Directorate for organizing this forum. He said that the success of the first edition provides motivation for further work and for the appropriate selection of speakers and work papers. For her part, the Director of Allied Health at Bahrain Polytechnic, Dr. Iman Janahi, stated that the forum will provide a valuable opportunity to showcase Bahrain Polytechnic's initiatives aimed at investing in health care workers and building their capacity in the field of infection prevention. The Meteorological Department at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications warned of a chance for sporadic rainfall tonight. It reported that the weather in Bahrain will be partly cloudy with a chance of thundery showers and strong gusts tonight. Wind speeds will be mainly southeasterly 5 to 10 knots, reaching 17 knots at times, with gusts reaching 30 knots. Sea state will be 1 to 2 feet inshore, 2 to 4 feet offshore, but may rise up to 7 feet during gusts. The agency teams are present around the clock to ensure that approved procedures are followed for draining rainwater pooling to ensure the smooth flow of traffic on main streets and roads and the safe performance of sewage networks and electricity and water stations with the aim of providing the best services at all times 